In this video right here, I'm going to show you how you can calculate the market cap by using what the coin is worth and with the circling supply. So you can pretty much can play around with the price. You can play around the circ circling supply to determine the market cap. So I want to show you how you can really do this. And this coingods.org, I have the website right below this. And we'll play around with this and coin market cap when you're adding up and you pretty much trying to record what the market cap will be for your cryptocurrency. My name is Adam Shelton and thank you for watching this video because this is the place where we help you grow your brand and help you grow your bank account. Now this video right here can really help in terms of managing the possibility of some of your assets. So let's go ahead and dive into the content. So right now I'm at coinguides.org and we're gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of an uh, study. I do a little bit of an estimate. So right now we're at V Chain right here. V Chain is one of my favorite investments, favorite assets that's out there, and we're just going to determine something. So right now it's at twenty cents. What I'm doing is I'm at Coin Market Cap. So this is Coin Market Cap. I'm going to take the price of V Chain. I'm going to put it into the circling, putting in the Coin to Token value, and then I'm going to get the circling supply, which is actually right here. Just gonna copy this and copy that like so, and then I'm gonna put it in here. And so this is saying basically, um, let me see here, make sure that's right. The market cap, and they got that wrong. So, apply here. Let me make sure. Let me go back to the price. Go back over to the price here, make sure that's correct. And okay, so 13 billion. Let me see if that's right. Yep, that's right. So basically, that is correct. So, this is I usually do this to make sure everything is calculating first, just to kind of do that. So, let's say that to basically, let me see here, we was trying to get. So if we were trying to get to 50 cents, so basically if VeChain went up to 50 cents, then the market cap must be $32 billion. So $32 billion. Okay, so that's pretty much realistically for VeChain. And so let's say for 75 cents, this is how you can kind of play around with, with some of the you know, market cap and a calculator. And I'll show you CoinGecko as well of how you can determine, let's say you only had a hundred dollars to invest to, it can basically tell you how many in terms of assets you're basically be walking with. So this is a market cap calculator. So if the coin has 75 cents, the market cap has hit 48 billion, which basically will put it in, it will basically put it pretty much in the top six, seven, so, I mean, that's a possibility. VeChain is definitely a supply chain blockchain that's doing very well out there. And it's definitely going to be used. It's got good partnerships with a lot of different companies like BMW, Walmart, China, and among others. But the dollar is what I've been hearing about. So, let's see a dollar, what it has to be. So, 64. I mean, you know, hold on here. 99 cent. <laughs> but one dollar... 64 billion is so that will put it you know we'll put it right here just right underneath there i mean that's actually doable if i'm doing that right is that right i guess so you know because we put point 20. yeah yeah that's about right so if it was like point 98 yeah 60 yeah let's see two dollars oh wow 128 billion so that will put that up like right, it will be like third place right now. If for $2, the market cap hit 120 billion, the overall market cap is right here. So definitely, you know, $2 trillion. So I mean, $2 is possibly in the future for something like VeChain. Um, I just wanted to do a little bit of an estimate. And here's another one I want to show you guys. It's CoinGecko that I go to. So CoinGecko is where you can also determine some other factors. So if I go to V chain, so we're just doing a V chain study here. If I had a hundred dollars, this is how much V chain basically I can get four hundred and seventy-seven dollars, four hundred seventy-seven you know shares or coins of V chain. So 
I use the market cap determine, okay, coin hit, if it hits, if it hits 30 cents, then it hit, need to hit $19 billion market cap. And right now it's around, let's see, right now it is market cap 13. So, I mean, that's definitely doable. I mean, <laughs> that 30 cents is there, definitely doable. Um, and then if I say, you know what, I want to purchase VeChain and I don't have $100, I can get 477 assets. So if I had a thousand dollars, I get four thousand seven hundred sixty-seven dollars, and if I had you know ten thousand dollars, forty-seven thousand six hundred and seventy-three. I wonder if it's a million shares. How many do you get? One, two, three, one, two, three. So twenty. That twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Wow. What's well, that? Two hundred. Two hundred nine thousand. No, that's two hundred. <laughs> No, that's two hundred nine thousand seven hundred fifty nine dollars. Wow! So you need two hundred thousand dollars to get was that one million shares? Let's see, comma. Okay, that's right. Three. three. Wow! So man, that's crazy. So man, let me let me see. So basically, two hundred and nine thousand dollars absolutely to get 1 million shares and if it was basically you know add another zero to that basically that so i use coin gecko to determine like if i'm looking at an asset and only had a budget of this i go type in the asset in coin gecko and i kind of play around with the price a little bit and how many shares or coins i get then i look at the market cap calculator to determine okay so it's 20 cents what does the market cap needs to get to uh, 19 billion and I kind of determine like on the chart if it's possible based on the research as well that I do the look into it so it's ranked 15th now it's 13 billion this thing can probably get to in the top 10 somewhere you know I would say in the next month or so and so it can probably get here so it get right here so um, it's definitely doable I can see it getting in the top five or even top eight in the near future and so I use coin market cap to do research I use the market cap calculator on coinguys.org to determine some other factors. So play around with this. I'll have the link in the description for this and CoinGecko for you guys can play around with it. So this is just basically more of a kind of a research type guide when you're doing your cryptocurrency or your assets, your digital assets, to kind of determine factors, your budget. And then this is, a cap, this is basically your calculator as well. Kind of determination of the market cap has to hit this if it hits that price based on your circulating supply. And here's some other factors underneath it that you can kind of look at to determine the market cap. And I like this because you don't have to necessarily do any type of formulas. All the formulas are already set up here as well. So play around with it, guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for this channel and for this video as well. And also, you know, you know, this is the place to be for growing your bank account and growing your brand. You know what time it is. It's time to sign out and I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to click on the links below to get started with the coin gecko and also with the coingods.org to go ahead and calculate your assets. I'll see you in the next video.